Classic TV fans, Rick Nigy here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Gilligan's Island, more specifically about where the island is located in terms of the actual show. Now, I made a video on where they actually filmed Gilligan's Island. It wasn't really on an island. It was on a back lot northeast los angeles area and what we know as the valley you have to check out the video in the playlist to find out i'm not going to talk about that we're going to talk about the actual universe of gilligan's island where we find that information out and we're going to hone in on one episode from season one so if you like this types of videos this type of information the classic tv and movies don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to support the channel to continue helping me do what i love to do now, the episode that I'm referring to is, as I mentioned, from season one. It's called X Marks the Spot. It's episode 18 of the series, and it's one where the castaways discover that the U.S. Navy will be doing a missile test in the area. That is the area of the island. Now, I'll tell you a little bit more about the plot in just a little bit, but it's a very good episode. It's really funny. It's one of my favorites of the black and white era, which basically means all the episodes from season one, they were all in black and white. And then season two and three were all in color. That is the color era. And so essentially what happens here, it's pretty good as I mentioned. The island itself is unfortunately a target of an experimental US warhead that lands unexploded right near, or actually on the island. Now the task of Gilligan is to crawl inside and to deactivate it and he is the smallest and the thinnest and that's why he is doing so unfortunately he doesn't aim to do this there's really no warhead they thought there was but so there's no danger of it actually exploding but it drives gilligan around the lagoon and around the island with him in it and it just takes off by itself and just goes haywire it's a very funny episode but when they found out when the castaways find out that this warhead is heading toward them they hear it on the radio and the man on the radio says the actual location of where the missile is headed now this is what he mentions he says 140 degrees latitude and 10 degrees longitude well here's the problem and people who are familiar with maps and so forth it'll be a glaring error here and that's that there is no really 140 degrees latitude it only goes up to 90 either way and so this would be a big error there is no 140 and so how do we reconcile this how do we reconcile the location i mean you can look it up yourself and the map will be like huh what are you actually trying to look for but we could see that maybe this was an error it was just an error because this is what the radio answer said so we could say that the radio answer may made a quick error the skipper actually repeated the coordinates and he said well this is where the island is and he maybe made a mistake there so this could be a way that we reconcile the error but i would really want to show you if you plug all this information on a map how this could be helpful because if we actually flip the numbers around instead of having the big number first if we actually have 10 degrees latitude and 140 degrees longitude well You'll be surprised to see what we actually come up with. I'll go to the map and show you all of the different combinations of locations we can find. So if we look at this in map form, I'm a big fan of maps. I'm not perfect, but we'll do the best that we can here. Here's the United States, and here's what we have plugged in, what I mentioned as the reverse coordinates, not the one the radio said. So remember, the radio says 140 degrees latitude, 10 degrees longitude. What would make more sense is if we actually flip them because there's actually no 140 degree latitude, but there is 140 degree longitude, 10 degree latitude, and that will put us approximately at this location. And Hawaii would be here. We know we mentioned that they're not that far from Hawaii. Now, maybe they would have been a little closer, but remember, even in the show itself, they said that they were a little southeast, and so this would work perfectly. So we could say that the radio answer made an issue. We could also say that um, there was an error in writing, but then the skipper repeated the actual coordinates, and I mean, he's a skipper. He knows how to navigate on sea, and he should actually know that there is no 140 degree latitude. However, if you think about that, Maybe that's why they got lost in the first place. But I don't know. There's so much to speculate here about. I'm also going to switch the numbers up and show you something pretty interesting. Now, if we change this just a little bit and kind of mess with the numbers, I mean, you could do this on your own. Have fun. See what, what you actually get. If you do 10 degrees south, 140 degrees west, 
you will notice where we are now. We are way out there. So Hawaii is over here and we're in the South Pacific, but like way in the middle of nowhere. This is too far according to what we're talking about. You can even mess with it a little bit and it's too far south. So that's why north is a coordinate that would work. Even if you have east there, then look what happens if you have east. You're all the way almost in the Philippines. Look how far Hawaii is. This is just too unfathomable. And so these would be the coordinates that would more likely be what we would know on the show, which is pretty cool. You zoom out a lot, but look, here's Hawaii. Here's the location of approximately the island. And if you look, it's an uncharted isle. It's not here because maps don't have it. So that is pretty awesome. Now there's another episode, Big Man on a Little Stick, in which Skipper tells Duke Williams that their position is about 110 degrees longitude by 10 degrees latitude, which is more accurate and we could even say that that was even a better approximation because they adjusted the coordinates based on more information that they had time went on and so forth but it really is interesting to look this up and apply it on a map i think it makes the show a little more interesting a little more fanciful i want to know your thoughts what do you think if you look this on the map maybe you try different combinations yourself and see how we can get as close as to hawaii as possible but not too far off because they weren't too far from Hawaii but then not too close to Hawaii and then they could just basically swim there in, in you know less than 30 seconds so we can't get that close so what would you come up with what are the numbers that you thought of and what do you think of this error did you ever notice it and what do you think of this episode have you seen this one in black and white some of my favorites in the black and white series let me know what you think we'll see you all next time thanks for supporting and most importantly be hopeful Thank you so much for supporting the channel, especially my Diamond Tier patrons. Harold P, Terry Y, Jerry D, Citizen Kane 359, David D, Kevin K, Sally N, and Vito L. If you want to be on this list, make sure to check out the link in the description below for Patreon for exclusive content you won't see anywhere else.